It's Monday. We're going to do total body conditioning this morning. We're going to use dumbbells, resistance bands. So these kind, these uh, flat kind, which many of you have, um, and hopefully you are thinking about <laughs> getting some of these, the encased in fabric tubes, and they have a little loop at the end. And I think I've shown you before kind of how to rig it. And they actually make door anchors specifically for this, um, where you can loop it over the top of the door or kind of in the middle or down below, depending on what exercise you want to do. But usually what I'll do is just take a towel or something like that and just go through it and then just drape that over the top and then shut the door right here. And then you've got this taut and there's no chance of this coming out right through the crack in the door there. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you that, but I've already got my two set up over here at kind of a hip height. And then I've got one set up over here, you can't see down low to do some low rows and some bicep curl work. So anyhow, let's get started. So we're gonna warm up. I'm gonna bring this around over here. All right, so stand with your feet kind of wide apart. Take a big inhale breath, arms up over the head. Exhale, drop it out, and then lunge side to side. Reach up, reach up. Give me four and three, two. Now back to the big inhale breath, up to the top. Exhale it out, lunge it right, left, four, three, two, one. Inhale up to the top we go. Exhale, open out, lunge four. Three, two, one more time for this. Let's go. Inhale, breath up. Exhale it out. We lunge it. Four, three, two. Now swing it down and up, side to side here. So there's a little dip in the hips going down and up, down and up. Breathe nice and deep. Big inhale. Exhale. Step touch. Right, left here. Now keep those knees bent. You're kind of gliding across from right to left here. So kind of stay in that level. Swing it up. Four, three, two. Now hamstring curl it. Reach and pull, arms pull right to the hips, heel to the rear. Four, three, Two, side knee, push down and down. High knees up on the sides here. So a little inner thigh stretch as the knees come up on the sides. Little dynamic stretch. Give me bigger arms up and around you go here. Up and press, up and press. Press it down. Now knees straight up in front right here. Elbow across to the knee. Squeeze your abdominals, abs in. Four more, three, two more. Now step it out kind of wide and lift your foot up right here like that. So you're touching the inner ankle, lift it up. Four, three, two more. Now, a little change. This time, you're gonna rotate inwards with those thighs like that, kind of flipping your feet out to the side. Touch the outer ankle as a kick, and a kick. And four, three, two. Now plant your feet and lunge it from right to left. One hand on the quad, other arm up, reach overhead. And then reach it across the front from corner to corner, reaching out, out. Lunge a little deeper if you can. Get down in to that hip, down and up. Good, now hands on those quads. Get even lower with your chest here. Drop one shoulder down, then the other. So we lunge it right to left. Four more, three, two more. The same thing, but much slower. So you're gonna reach for the floor, reach to the front. Watch down and up. Reach down and up. Four more. Three, 
two. Now reach both hands straight down to the floor and up to the ceiling. Squat and lift. Inhale, exhale it. Four more. Three. Two more. Now big circling arms quickly. Here we go. Down and around. Arms up and around to the top. Up. And then reverse the circle other way. Take it up and over the top. Up. Up. Four. Three. Two. And then squats here. Drop. Lift. Start to walk those feet in a little bit more. Maybe toes straight ahead. Drop those hips. Lift and tighten. Down and up. So in the squat, make sure the hips go back behind the line of the heels. Right there. Drop and lift. Inhale. Exhale up. Four. Three, two more. Go down and pulse three counts here in the bottom zone like that. And then stand up nice and tall. Down three. Stand up nice and tall again. Bring it up. Inhale. Exhale. Two more of those. Good. One more time. Back to singles, down up for eight reps. See if you can go a little deeper now in that squat. Squat, lift up. Four, three, two more. Listen up, big inhale breath, arms up over your head. Exhale, round down. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, open out. Do it again, inhale, reach to the top. Round as you stretch to the floor, and then up you go. Open out, one more. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, round it down. <sighs> Inhale, breath up. Now hands on the quads. Here, it's a rounded back. Exhaling. Inhale, kind of flatten it out. Exhale, round it. Inhale, flatten it. Two more, exhale. <sighs> Inhale. One more time, exhale. <sighs> Inhale. All the way up to the top we go here. And then open out. Step touch right, left here. With the shoulder roll to the back, one at a time. Up and around you go. Good, now heel digs in front, arms crossed down low. When you heel dig it, pull those toes way back, flex the foot, stretch the calves. Go four, three, two more. Good, now feet together. You're gonna do bicep curls up and around like you're pulling something right up into the chest and down. Up and around, four, three, two more. Now, you're gonna circle those arms around. So fists kind of facing the floor here, just little circles, maybe the size of a steering wheel. Four, three, two, go the other direction. Circle around this way. So once again, just loosening up through the shouldered girdle. Get some blood flow, some circulation. Increase that synovial fluid in there. And we go for four, three, two. Now up a little higher. Palms are up, thumbs to the back. So my knees are bent. I'm rocking back on the heels. Toes are lifting. Toes up, toes up. Reverse the circle. Other way, circle it around to the front. Up, up, four. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out and kick. So you should be nice and warmed up. Heart rate a little higher. Breathing a little faster. Ready to go. So grab your light weights. And we'll kind of go through a whole sequence of exercises. We're gonna do 50 seconds on, 20 seconds off for a little rest. All righty, so on your marks, get set. Here we go, so feet hip width apart, squat and lift. So side lateral raises there, elbows drop and lift up, down and up. Make sure you don't go too high. And if you're feeling pain in the shoulders, just stop a little bit shy of parallel. Gotta listen to that body, down and up. Nice, here we go. Last eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, four more, three, two, and one. Now front raise, going slower here, the thumbs go up and then you lower down to the thighs. Thumbs go up and then lower to your thighs. Thumbs up, lower down. Thumbs up, just to shoulder level, good. So we're gonna inhale on that squat, part exhale as you stand up. Inhale, down, down. Exhale it up. Down, down. Up and up. Down, down. Up, up. Inhale. Exhale. Good, how about eight reps? Quickly, finish strong. Down, up, eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, little rest, just kick it out. Shoulders rolling around to the back. Kick, kick. All right, next, rear delt, so the back side of the shoulders. Here, you're gonna have to stand with your feet, hip width apart, little bend in the knees, little hip hinge, flat back, chest is over here. Ready, here we go, lift, drop, lift, drop. Thumbs pointing down, pinkies up. So there's a little bit of a action here in the hips and the knees, not much. Just a little springy up down move with the hips and the knees and you lift and you drop and you lift and you drop. Exhale, inhale. Get ready, same thing, double time, tempo, go. Up, quickly, up. Imagine pulling shoulder blades together closer and back there, make a crease, up and up. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now just a shoulder roll up and around to the back. Feet wider apart, squats with double bicep curls. Let me just reset this to you. <laughs> On your marks. Yes, sir. Here we go. You curl it up as you squat. Curl, squat. Down and up you go. Inhale, exhale. Make sure that you're breathing deeply and not holding your breath because you're concentrating. Sometimes that's a habit, kind of a natural thing to do, I think. But we wanna make sure that we're really oxygenating that body, big inhale breath, and then exhale it out. Curl it up, release. Curl and release. Let's drop a little lower, last eight. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now come into a squat, stay here. Hands right between the thighs. You're gonna curl the right, curl the left. Right, left, right, left. Same deal, faster tempo, almost done. Go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, shoulders around. Walk your feet together. Good, and then just kick it out, shake it out. Next, shoulder exercise. We're gonna do shoulder presses. All right, on your marks, get set. Here we go, elbows draw down, right up, reach up, reach up, inhale, exhale, squat, press over the head. So make sure you're not pushing it there. You went right up over the head like that. Squat, press, squat, press. Squeeze your glutes, tighten up in those quads. Draw those core muscles in, here. Exhale, inhale. Here we go, four more. 
three, two, one. Good job. And then shoulders roll up and around. A little rest, a little break. Next exercise, tricep kickbacks. Two more big shoulder rolls. One more. All right, so bring your feet maybe a little closer together. Bend the knees, hip hinge so the boot docks go back. Boot docks, booty, buttocks, whatever we want to call that, politically correct. Let's go. So the arms extend, bend, straighten up. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Squeeze the whole back side of those upper arms and do not let your elbows drop. Keep them high and kind of glued against the side body, right into the ribs there. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Squeeze back. And then you bend. Straighten up. And then bend. Straighten. Bend. Squeeze tight at the top every time. Hug the muscle around the bone. Exhale. Inhale. You got four more. You have three. Last two, hold those arms straight here on one, flip the palms up, lift, lift. So small and tight, little straight arm lifts to the top, go eight, go seven, I'm on six, five, four, three, two, one, and then relax. Ha. Ah. Shoulders roll up and around. Let your head go, a little neck stretch there as well. Two more, one more. All right, so one more exercise and then we're gonna pick up heavier and then another heavier. So three sets of all of these and maybe for the shoulders, you'll stay light, but for some of the exercise, definitely you can go heavier. All right, so this one, feet hip width apart, knees are bent, hips are back, hands right there beside your knees, shoulders back, kind of open up here through the throat and the chest, dumbbell rose, go, you're gonna pull and release. Pull, release, pull, release. Exhale, squeeze back. Inhale down. Exhale, inhale it. Now, if it bothers your back, you can stand up a little straighter. That's fine. But the technique by being a little more bent over here is that you address the lats and the upper back muscles more effectively if you're in this position in orientation to the weights and gravity. Pull, release. Pull, release. Squeeze your upper back. Shoulders down. Long neck. Good job. You got six more. Here we go. Pull it up. Six. Exhale. Five. Four. Three. Two, now hold your elbows up here on one. Fast little presses, eight, seven. Elbows up and up. Four, three, two, one, and then relax. Shoulders are gonna roll up and around and just sort of relax and shake it out, kick it out. All right, so now take a little break, breathe, a sip of water. Whatever, grab your heavier weights. If you're able to do the heavier. I'm gonna get a little sip myself over here. Okie dokie. So heavier or lighter if you have a shoulder injury that you're kind of working around. All righty, on your marks, get set, feet hip width apart, elbows are in here, hands are facing each other. So let's go, we squat and then we lift it up. Inhale down, exhale. Drop down and up, down and up, squat and lift. See if you can squat a little deeper. Challenge yourself here in your squats. Drop it down, lift it up. Drop it down and up. Down up eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, last two. Good, now drop those arms. Stand with the feet a little bit wider apart. Front raises this time, shoulders are down. So we wanna really watch that you don't get tense up there like that, like a turtle. So try to press those shoulders down, get that neck nice and long. All right, ready? On your marks, get set. Here we go, nice and slow. Squat with the front raise, arms come up, and then you drop it down, arms up, and drop it down. Drop and lift. Squeeze tight every time you straighten your legs, tight quads, tight glutes, and even abdominal muscles engage strong. Pull the tummy in, lower down. Lift it up, lower down. Lift it up. Inhale on your squat. Exhale as you stand up. Make sure you don't swing your weights to the back. Control them coming down like that. Lift up and then lower. Lift up, lower, lift up, lower, almost there, good, one more, down, down, six reps quickly, finish strong, down, up, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right, and then you're done with that set, kick your legs out, let the arms relax. Kind of shake out your arms and your legs here. All right, shoulder presses. So this time, hands are here. Instead of both together, you're gonna go alternate, knee lift with the opposite arm, shoulder press up and down. That was like a sloppy kind of walkthrough version. So what you're gonna look like is right knee, left arm up. Step it down, do a few slow with me. Left leg up, right arm up, step it down. So good opportunity to practice balance, strengthen that standing leg. Good, one more slowly. Up, let's go faster now. Shoot that arm up, drop it down. Up, down, exhale, press, inhale, step. Push. Push. So think also about that standing leg. It's doing a lot of work as well. It's not just this lifting knee in your abs and your shoulders, but it's about strong base leg. Exhale, push, inhale down. Here we go, six more. Five, straight up over the head, four. Over the head, three, come on. Two more. Now both together, reach up, squat down. Exhale, press, inhale down. Go four, three, two, and one. All right, drop those shoulders around. So I'm gonna do biceps next. I'm gonna pick up a little heavier. You may just keep whatever you've got. And let's do some biceps. All right, catch your breath. Big inhale, and then exhale it all out. If you're real forceful on that exhale breath, it will help you actually catch your breath. All right, so feet a little wider than hip distance apart, palms here. Nice and slow. We are squatting. A double bicep curl. And then release. Curl it up. And then lower down. Curl it up. Lower down. Curl it up. Lower down. So give those bicep muscles a good squeeze here. Control the weight dropping down. Curl it. Release it. Here we go, eight more slowly, and then stand up nice and tall. Seven, stand up nice and tall. Six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Eight quickly, here we go, down up, eight reps, seven, 
six. Three more. Two. One more. All right, now stand with your feet a little wider apart. This time, thumbs up. Dumbbells right here, kind of on the insides. Drop your hips. Right arm up, left arm up. So a little bit of a press down and up into the hips. Eight, seven, four, three. Can we do this faster? Control it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then relax. Walk your feet in. Kick it out. Woohoo! I'm getting hot in here. I'm sweating. Hope you are too. Hope your heart rate's up. All right. Tricep kickbacks and then dumbbell rows. Y'all ready? Here we go. So feet pretty close together. Bend your knees. Big inhale. Exhale it out. Hip hinge. Elbows up high. Let's go. Arms straighten. You bend them. Straighten out and bend. Keep your elbows high. You get those inner arms kind of glued against the side rib cage. Make sure those arms get fully extended there at the back. You want to really straighten those arms out. Maximize that tricep contraction right there. There you go. Straighten it out. Exhale. Inhale. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now hold your arms straight on one. This time flip the palms so they face up. Let's go. Press. Up and up for eight and seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, and then relax. Ah, wow. Five pounds never felt so heavy. <laughs> I was starting to think, do I have fives or are these tens? Ah. But when you're doing a lot of repetitions, you're really pre-fatiguing that muscle. So then when you go right into a set like we just finished with, it's extremely challenging. Like I said, it's another way of adding kind of more resistance if you don't have all the, the weight set up like maybe I have here. But one day you will, because I think it's good that you acquire this. I mean, is there really ever going to come a time in your life when you're going to go, no, I think I've exercised enough. I'll just hang it up and finish out my life without it. I mean, you wouldn't do that with brushing your teeth or washing your face or your hair. So just think of it like that. It is a habit that you just do. You know, sometimes you want to do it. Sometimes you don't. So don't wait to be inspired to get moving, get moving, and then the inspiration will come. That's one of my favorite quotes, and if you really think about that, it's so very true. All right, I'm ready for dumbbell rows, are you? Let's go. So bend the knees, hip hinge, arms right there. Let's go, elbows pull, and then release. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze, release, squeeze them together. So it's like you're making a crease in your upper back right there. And release down. Come on, squeeze back and down. Let's go eight more reps. You got this. Seven, come on, keep going. Six, five, pull back four, pull back three, pull back two, hold your elbows up here on one. Now eight little fast pulls up and up. Pull back, pull back, small and tight. Four more, three, two, one. Now drop your weights, up and around you go. Down, up and around. Kick it out, shake it out. All right, so I want you to grab, if you don't have another set that's heavier, then you can do two together on one side, right? And then two on the other. I mean, you don't have to. Again, this is, a, this is your workout, so 
you listen to your body, you do what you can do. Um, I know I can't please everybody, but my goal is to try my best to cater and make it um, doable for as many people as possible because we're all on this journey together of health, fitness, and wellness. And it doesn't matter if you're 32 <laughs> and no pain in your body or 80 and you're just doing what you can. And I know we've got all of those age spans in here. Actually, we've got some 20 year olds in here. Um, I'm going to introduce you to them tomorrow, who those 20 year olds are. All right. So I'm going to get my tens just because it's easier than holding all of that. But I'm going to get some sip of something, something first. So get your water or whatever. So we're going to do um, not as many exercises, but we are going to use the heavy. And then I'm going to do the bands uh, that are encased and attached. And then the other bands. And then we're going to use the chair. So lots of stuff to use. So many toys and so little time. Again, that's my, my motto. All right. So no shoulders with these heavy guys, but we are going to do bicep curls. So stand with your feet hip width apart, flip your palms this direction, and just standing nice and straight, right arm curl, ugh, left arm curl, bring it up, drop it down. Now, if this weight that you are carrying is just easy and you can do both together, do that. I'm just doing one at a time. These guys are 10 pounders. So I'm just going one at a time to really concentrate on the one arm. Exhale up, inhale down. Good, so just a little bit of a squat as I curl. So an easy way to remember is just think everything bends, everything straightens. So elbow bend, knee bend, straighten up. Curl it up and release. Keep those wrists locked and straight. Come on, curl it up, work it, work it. Curl it. Let's go four more singles, four, three, two. Now listen up, both arms together, but slower tempo. Two counts to curl it up, two to release, two to curl, and then two to release all the way straight arms. Curl it up. You can drop down a little deeper in that squat. Let's try that, come on. Squat down, and then up you go. Curl it. Stand it up. Curl it. Stand it up. Curl it. Stand it up. Two more, just like this. Come on. Curl it up. Drop it down. One more. Curl it up. Good job. Now stand with your feet apart. Dumbbells kind of inside there. Bend the knees and drop your hips. Alternate, right arm, hammer curl, left arm. Curl it up, curl it up. So notice a little bit of a movement here in the hips, a little springy action. Down, up, curl, release. Come on. Let's go eight more, you got this. Seven, or do both together if you can. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and then drop down. Whoo, reach over the head, squat, and then reach overhead. Inhale, exhale. Two more times, squat, and then reach all the way up. One more time, squat, and then up, and open out. Swing it out. All right. Kick it out. Shake it out. We're going to do dumbbell rows next with those heavy ones. So don't go away. I'm not leaving you. 
just in case you're thinking I'm gone. I'm not. I'm right here by the laptop and my go-go juice drink, my own little go-go juice. Have you been making your own go-go juice with green tea or yerba mate or could just be water. It doesn't have to even be anything fancy, but I like a little flavor in mine, sometimes a little unsweetened cranberry juice, or even just like a little shot of orange juice, just to give it some great flavor, or real lemon. I like real lemon also in my water. It just seems to quench your thirst. Amazing. Okay, and just you're wondering, am I sweating? Can you see that? Yes. <laughs> it's killing me. It's killing me. No, it's killing me in a good way. Like the Marines say. I think it's the Marines. If it doesn't kill you, or whatever doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. And that's what we want. We just want to be strong. This is not about, you know, a cute bikini butt, although that's a nice uh, side effect if that happens. It's really, at, this, at least for me and uh, kind of my generation, it's more about functional fitness and just being able to manage well into our later golden years. Um, we don't want to be hobbling around and relying on people to help us. So it's, it's nice to have a body to live inside of a body that is strong and kind of does what you want it to do and what you need it to do. And I was kind of reminded of that last night when I was mowing the lawn and it's just, I don't know, it's just hard. And then like pulling that thing, it just takes me about a hundred times and I'm just like, ah, I'm glad I'm somewhat strong that I can do that. All right, so come here, knees bent, flat back. Hands in front of the knees, you go up and down, hit it, lift and drop, exhale as you pull, inhale, drop, exhale, pull. So you're thinking about biceps and lats and upper back, tightening, contracting, strengthening, squeeze, upper back here, release, pull and release. Let's go four more just like this. Four, pull it up, three. You got this, come on, two more. One more, now eight fast reps at the higher zone. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then drop them down. Ah. Circle the arms around, just let them go. Nice and easy, release, relax. Two more. One more time. All right, shake it out, kick it out. All right, so next we are gonna do some of the bands. So if you don't have bands with the uh, attachment point and encased in fabric, you can just use dumbbells. So what I'm gonna do on this next exercise is a standing row. So just to kind of top off what you just did there with the dumbbells. So if you don't have the bands, do the dumbbells. But if you have the bands, uh, grab the handles. So this is uh, gray. And in this particular line of um, exercise bands, gray is the heaviest. So they color code them, uh, you know, to sort of let you know, light, heavy, medium, whatever, extra hard. But uh, gray is pretty tough. So I am going to, uh, first of all, move that. And then we're gonna grab a hold and then stand far enough back so it's taut. So we're gonna squat and then when you stand up, you pull. You inhale on the reach part, exhale, pull back. Inhale, squat, exhale, pull. And by the way, I have this attached around a super, super heavy piece of furniture around the leg there at the base. I made a little slip knot and just kind of threaded it through. So no chance, I don't think, of me pulling this huge console over. So that's what you want to be mindful of. I don't know that I would do it on a doorknob, as you might pull it off, just depending on your strength. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull back. One more slowly we go. Let's faster tempo squat. Pull it back, 10. 
nine, eight, Good, one more. And then just slowly release. Don't let it catapult you forwards into the wall. And then just swing your arms out to relax. And loosen them up. All right, next, and I've got these over here in a door, kind of right at like about hip level. So I'm gonna do bicep curls. And then I'm going to do tricep press backs. Let's see here. So I hope that uh, you can see me. Yeah, I think you can. All right. So you just don't want to let go of these, obviously, or it'll just like It'll, this uh, hard plastic handle could do some serious damage on your wall or the door there. <laughs> so just, you know, always want to let go carefully. All right, so feet, hip width apart, shoulders back and down, tuck the tail under, fire up your glutes and your quads. You're going to inhale, palms are up. On the exhale, make sure when you do your curl, if you stay straight up and down, when you pull, it's going to catapult you forward. So you do have to lean back. See how I'm leaning back? Just a little bit so that I don't get thrown forwards. So inhale, breath reach. Exhale, curl over the top. Inhale, squat. Exhale, curl it. Inhale, squat. Exhale. So the palms face each other, then they face upwards as they pull over. Inhale it. Exhale. So again, if you don't have these, you just do bicep curls with your dumbbells. Inhale, squat. Exhale, curl it. Inhale. Exhale. Do two more slowly. One more time slow. How about eight reps? Quickly, go. Down, up eight. Four more. Three. Two more, one more, good job. All right, so then I just kind of carefully let them down and then swing it out. It's really kind of cool that you can, in your own house, get a pretty hard workout. I mean, that potentially, especially that gray one, could be like lifting 40 pounds and you know, to buy dumbbells just going up and up and up like that can get pretty expensive. I was pricing 10 pound dumbbells yesterday and um, they're expensive. Now, I don't know if that's just because people are kind of price gouging because they know everybody wants workout equipment at home. For whatever reason, the 10 pounders were just like gone. Like if you order some, it'll be uh, mid July to August <laughs> before you get any. Uh, but the bands are more available, so that's why I just think it's a good, a good exercise tool. All right, so next we're going to do tricep kickbacks with the band again. Then I'm going to show you some other stuff with the flat bands. All right. So for triceps, I'm going to do kind of a two-part movement. It's a straight arm up and then elbow bend, tricep press back. So straight arm back, elbow comes here, glue it against the side body, and then press back and bend. So let's try that kind of slow. And again, if you don't have these, pick up your dumbbells, come into that bent knee, hip hinge, and just do your tricep kickbacks that way. All right, so inhale, stand up straight. Exhale, press the arm straight back, palms back. And then inhale. Exhale, elbows bend, and then I push back. That's a really hard one there. So we go up straight arms, straight arm press, straight arms, bend, and then tricep kick back. One more nice and slow. So inhale, exhale, straight arms, inhale, exhale, bend and straighten a little faster. We go up, press, up, bend and straighten back, up and press. 
bend and straighten back. Ha. Straight arms, press. Bend the elbows and press back. Straight arms, press back. Bend and straighten. Let's do two more. Straight arms. Ha. One more. Now stay right here in the bent knee, hip hinge. Let's do five more of those. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Wow. Oh, those are hard. So you probably noticed I was kind of scooting in a little closer, closer. So as it gets harder, that's one way you can adjust the intensity. If it's not hard enough, you just stand farther back. All right. Woohoo. Okay. Let's see. You know, again, I'm like breathing heavy and my heart rate's just not telling me. <laughs> I get a higher heart rate vacuuming. All right. So the flat, stretchy bands here. So this, this one, I did loops at the end just to have something to grab onto so you can step on it. And then you can do bicep curls up, up just like that, or you can do both arms together. If it's too easy, then you would just step out wider so you've got less band to have to stretch. So let's give it a try. Here we go, right arm up, left arm up, bicep curl, curl it, exhale. <sighs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bend the knees a little bit. Kind of tuck the tail under here. Let's go faster. And we curl, curl, up and up. Curl it, curl it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then relax. And then just toss it, swing it out. All right, next exercise. So this is as if you had a sword in your pocket and you're gonna pull it up and out, kind of on this diagonal. So it's gonna work triceps, rear delt, and upper back muscles. So that's just kind of the visualization. It's so not something that we, <laughs> that we do in real life, but you know what I'm talking about because you've seen it in the movies. Grab that sword out and bam. So hold it in your right hand. Anchor the other end right against that left hip. So we're going to do a little bit of a lunge action here on this one. So right leg is back, left foot is front. So we come across and then stretch it up. Let's go. Down and up. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, up. Eight more, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna switch, so just a little rest here, a little shake it out, a little rolling of the shoulders around. All right, so grab it in the left hand, and then just park your right hand on your right hip, Right foot forward, left foot back. Ready? Let's go. It's drop down. Lift up and across. Up and across. Let's go. Eight more reps. Take it up, eight. Inhale down. Exhale, seven. Four more. Three, two, one. All right. Shake it out, kick it out. Drop it. Shoulders roll around. All right. So next, chair time. And I am going to grab a towel just because I got a lot of sweat already on my arms and I don't want to mess up my chair. And if you don't have a uh, cushy seat, 
sorry, I probably should have told you sooner, but just get a pillow or a yoga mat or a Pilates mat, put it right there so it's not just hard surface for your forearms to be on. So we're gonna do a little bit of plank action and come right back over here. So we're gonna come into elbow plank and as you hold that, we'll be doing some leg movements, but the whole goal is to not let your hips drop, sag, or rotate, or any of that. Try to just lock all of that in space right there. All right, y'all ready? Ooh, it's a sweaty workout today. All right, so step those feet back. You don't want your hips up here. You need to bring them down to where it's a straight line from your shoulders to the heels. So go right leg up, exhale, kick it to the side. Right leg straight back. And then exhale, bend the knee underneath. Tap the front of the chair. Inhale, back, do it again. Exhale, kick it to the side. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, bring your knee in. Step down, other side. Let's go. Left leg lifts up, inhale, breath. Exhale, kick it out to the side. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, draw the knee under and squeeze your core. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, kick to the side. Inhale, straight back. And then exhale, knee under. Step down, let's do it again. Right leg, go up, inhale. Exhale, kick side, inhale back. Exhale, knee under again, straight back. Kick to the side, straight to the back. Knee comes under and then step down. Left leg goes up, inhale. Exhale, side, inhale back. Exhale, knee under, inhale back. Exhale, side, inhale back. And then knee comes under. And then just hold your plank here, inhale. Exhale. Good. Now walk the feet out. Place the hands on top and just come into a nice straddle down dog stretch kind of move here. And you can just drop one hip down and then drop the other. Take a little peek under the arm and then look the other way. And just breathe. Inhale, breath. And exhale it out. All right. And then we're going to do a set of push ups because it's hard to work your chest when you're standing straight up, unless you've got the bands and then you can be pressing those forwards, which we've done that before. But let's just finish up here um, with a quick little kind of modified push-up. I say modified because you're up on a higher level. If you don't want to modify, then what you want to do is come down onto the floor and do straight arm push-ups. And then we'll be done, all right? So here we go. Hands right on the edge. Forehead is gonna come right to the very back of the chair there. So straight legs back, inhale, breath. And then exhale. So inhale down, exhale, straighten up. Do it again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more slowly, give me eight reps quickly now. Go, bend, straighten, down. Up. Four more. Drop. Press it up. Three. Two. Last one. Feet apart. Come into straddle stretch. Good. Now roll up. Inhale, breath, arms over your head. Exhale, stretch your left tricep, bend your left knee, and then side bend your body ever to the right so that stretch comes all the way down into those obliques and lats. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right tricep, stretch, bend your right knee, and then a little side lean away to the left, stretching into lats and obliques. Good, inhale, breath up. Exhale, drop down and around behind, chest out. Good, bring the hands in front. Walk your feet together. Belly in, tail tucks under, knees bend. Spread your shoulder blades apart here. Inhale, breath, reach all the way up. Exhale, swing it out. Wow, we are done. 
That was a that was a good workout. That was actually a little over 50 minutes. I apologize, but it's a good way to start off your Monday, right? With some good exercise. Okay, so tip. I uh, Saturday after the yoga class, I was showing you the uh, little toe spreader outers. It was just a little device <clears throat> that stretches out the toes um, as they do get kind of scrunched together over time. Um, if you're wearing shoes all the time, I mean, if you go barefoot a lot, that may not be so much the issue, but I was recommending that. And then, you know, all of a sudden my phone died and I had another tip and I'm like, wait, um, fortunately my phone lasted. It's just, I did not have it plugged in during our filming and um, I got to do that. So, well, I'll never make that mistake again. That and about 48 other mistakes <laughs> that I've made. But anyhow, what I was going to show you was, and everybody knows what this is. I know you've got one of these and I was going to use it in the yoga class, but it's an eye pillow. So this is a silk one and it's actually a little silk pillow and inside is a like a little bean bag. I don't know exactly what's in here. I want to say it's lavender blossoms, but you could also take some lavender essential oil and just do a few drops on there. I put it in the microwave for like 12 seconds. And then at night when I'm trying to fall asleep, if I, I don't know, you know, just it's a nice way to, I won't put it on my face now because I'm sweaty, but to put that across your eyes and just to inhale that wonderful fragrance, um, it can really be soothing and relaxing. We know lavender also, like lemongrass and many other um, essential oils, can have a relaxing effect on the mind, on the body. Um, and it smells really good. Hopefully you like lavender. But anyhow, that was going to be my other tip, and then it just it cut off. So there you go. Um, one other thing I want to, because this is a new month, it's May, and there are exactly four weeks left in this month. So I want to start a squat challenge um, and I'll be posting it um, right after this class and you can see and um, we've done plenty of squats today but starting tomorrow I will begin each class so right before we start um, we'll just do these squats and every day we, we add on um, repetitions and by the end of the month we'll be doing a lot of squats but I want you to just jump in on this and try it I think you'll be very amazed and surprised at Something as simple as just doing like 50 squats a day and then 55, 60, and then on and on and on. By the end of the month, even if you're not adding weight, if you're just doing body weight alone, how much stronger your body will get by just that one extra additional um, exercise. So we are going to do the squat challenge um, starting tomorrow. Uh, tune in early if you can and get ready. And that's how we will begin the class. And then we'll go right into whatever the format is for that day. So tomorrow it's um, core. And we're going to use the big, the big ball. And then we'll use the little ball next week. <laughs> okay. Y'all have a good one. And I hope that you uh, were able to hear me and see me and all that good stuff. You know, that's always a concern. So bye.